Hi there, Retro Tech Ralph here. I'm going to do a teardown video, specifically of this donated Sony hard disk recorder SVR HDT 500. It does work, I've got no use for one whatsoever. Got Freeview Plus HD on it, it's, it's not a bad little system, but I've got a funny feeling there's something in, in here that I need urgently. So, let's give it a strip down anyway, see what's what. It looks like, to me, the one piece lid metal case, three screws holding it in. So, let's, let's have a look, see what is in here. Get a tub for the screws. The um, donatee of this. So it's intermittent, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, and we did that on the um, on the introduction video when I first showed this. Ah, okay, two on the side. The introduction video which showed that it didn't work, tried it second time, didn't work, third time it just booted straight up. So I'm guessing possible hardware issue. But I don't know which hardware it would be. So, let me stop that rolling. I'm hand too close. Oh no! Not a magnet. Four screws on the side. Two each side. Oh no! Get off. The magnets are all coming off of there. Pretty simple, most of these things anyway. They're only like the size of a, well, just the size of a DVD player because it almost is. But they're all built, built virtually the same. Box with a big lid. And does this fully slide off? We think. It seems to stop there. And it just pulls up. No. Yep. Yeah. yeah, unclips from that. And, ta da! Oh, hold on. I don't know why that's burned. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a scuzzy hard drive disk, and it's not. It's a laptop disk. This is really dirty. Hmm. I don't like having look on the side. So what hard drive have we got? Oh, come on. I'm at a... Let's give this a quick blow, actually, but we'll see what hard drive we've got. 500 gig. Now, if this would have been a... Um, I think it is actually a soft anyway, but if it had been a laptop one, I'd have been a lot more happy because I need one for the um, for the Xbox, maybe the Playstations, oh I can't get this off, let's try a bigger bit, longer bit there, there we go. So that connects to the hard drive underneath everything. And that's the power for it. It's on 12 volts anyway, so that's simple enough. Because the transformer I've got behind me, I don't want to do that. Let's just take that out. Yeah, it is a, a SATA drive. It, this is a SATA drive, yes. And that will never fit inside the Xbox. But it's a three and a half inch and not a two and a half. That sucked in a lot of crap, that fan, isn't it? Hmm. 
wonder if that is the problem then. Something's not right and it's burning, or so basically, just something's burning out. That's a nice half, half terabyte drive for no reason. Yeah. Everything in and out, videos, HDMI, LAN, power, fan. So, so it feels like there's resistance on that fan. Well, I don't know whether it's that or not. So, mm -hmm. the board seems happy enough. Oh, it's a little dirty. Take the fan off. I'm a bit confused with this. There's two screws on the back holding the small fan in place. They don't need too much cool in these anyway. It's only the hard drive which runs quite a bit. And I think it just clogged up with crap. Give this a clean out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, after a quick blowout, fan's a lot better. Didn't really need much out anything else to be honest, that's really not bad. A little bit of dirt around here and still if I can if I've got anything the alcohol. Get a wipe down. board to do I'd say it's just been a little bit of grease on there probably blocking the fan off hmm that's not too bad put it back in as it is and I think we'll, we'll run it again all right put it back together Nice and clean. Power's on. Like the front is permanently on. Channel saying no channel available, which is good because it's working. Remote control. Let's have a look. Guide. Comes up with all the free view stuff. And yeah, how to play. View. channel TV radio program timer there's a list title list yeah that's what it's only before match of the day village of the damned yeah that works better let me try this again actually turn it off see how long it takes to come back on again all right on now fan isn't working hmm that fan's not spinning I wonder if it comes to a certain temperature, then it comes on. If not, the fan might be knackered. Hard drive hasn't spooled up yet. There that goes now. Hmm. You know, I've just knackered that fan, or that's the reason why it's not working. Putting power in, and there's, there's partial movement. Something's not right here. Fully in doesn't work. But barely in does. when he gets the yellow cable on for its command hmm 
Perhaps maybe it only comes on when it's to a certain temperature then. Okay, let's have a look if there's any options. Guide. Setup. Um, very responsive on the remote. Power management. Standby mode 2, what's that mean? Don't know. Doesn't get any description what it is. Turn channel others. Disk. Disk info 5 gig. 100 gig. Ah. Oh well though. No system message, system information. S signal isn't one. Right. What password? Okay. So we'll look for a password for this then. Okay. Factory default settings. Password is zero 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 zero. Eh, why not? Yeah. Still worry a little bit like that fan. It definitely has worked. Rather crap in the back. I've got no reason to doubt that it wouldn't work anyway. So. Okay. Yeah. Full rescan. Oh, I'll stop. Don't know. Don't know. Oh. Let's have a look if we've still got the um Stuff on the hard drive. Title guide. Title list, that's a player. Hard drive. Yeah, that's still on there. But I can reformat that anyway quite easily. Okay, this works fine. Turns off, no problem. So thumbs up. Oh these thumbs up. Yay, and I put the top back on. And then we're done. I'm gonna keep I'll keep it for a little while anyway. I'll keep an eye on that for the fan not going, but it does work. Just it may be it comes on when it needs to. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. And um, see you later.